Hey there, hello there, my name is Michael, welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews, the Tuesday upload where I couldn't find my goddamn hat. I don't know what happened, uh, I must have set my hat down somewhere and then it decided it was going to fade into the ether, so you're getting a bit of a hair reveal today, that's kind of fun. We're jumping straight into it because today I've actually got some important stuff to do for a move. Um, I'm changing apartments, so there will be a set change, but we'll get to that later. For now, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, what we did last week, which was a product review of the Sunny D Vodka Seltzers. I could just get my hair back in this fucking pony tie, there we go. The Sunny D Vodka Seltzers were surprisingly good. They were actually a very fresh and approachable and sort of matured version of the flavor of Sunny D that wasn't sickly sweet, wasn't horribly artificial, and actually had some really decent, you know, manufacturing going into it, and a really clean and impressive taste. I was reintroduced to the concept of a French 75 not too long ago, and uh, a particular way to build it where you top it off with Prosecco, uh, like a Collins, instead of a splash of Prosecco, like you would do if you were serving champagne. That is to say, I wanted to use Sunny D as the carbonated component of a Tom Collins. So we're gonna make a Sunny Collins, as I call it. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a new shaker here, which is always exciting. I actually got this at Target of all places. and It's pretty, pretty damn great. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like any Collins, we have to start with our base first. I'm gonna grab our cocktail shaker and start with one full ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I follow that up with half an ounce of simple syrup. We'll come in behind that with some orange liqueur. I'm gonna use Grand Marnier actually to add a little bit of extra character, but something like a dry curacao or triple sec would work just fine. And finally, we're gonna do two full ounces of vodka. The higher quality, the better. Uh, Smirnoff is the nicest thing I have right now, so we'll do that. <laughs> we'll drop some ice into our shaker, one cube hole and one cube crack. We'll cap that up, tap it down, and shake for 10 to 12 seconds to combine. Collins is a form of highball, so I'm gonna take this highball glass and we'll fill it up with some freshly cracked ice. We'll take our cocktail and go ahead and realize how slippery your hands are and how hard that is to open. <laughs> and then double strain the cocktail into the glass. Then we'll go ahead and pull up our star ingredient, the Sunny D Vodka Seltzer. Crack that open, nice and fresh. And we'll just top off that drink like so. I'm gonna finish this off with a very basic garnish. I'm just gonna take a full wheel of lemon and perch that inside the glass alongside the ice. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Sunny Collins. All right, so we've got our station cleaned up. I'm gonna set aside our mixer that we'll top that up with. And we'll go ahead and give our Sunny Collins a taste. Cheers. Well, goddamn, if it ain't the best, like, alcoholic Italian style lemonade I've ever had. <laughs> If you've ever had a San Pellegrino, you know what I mean when I say like Italian style. This is very kind of specific character of lemon that's sort of candied, but also has a lot of really nice citric components to it that are very subtle and a little bit more pulled back. That's exactly what this tastes like. This tastes almost exactly like one of those San, uh, San Pellegrino carbonated lemon sodas. I took a trip to um, Orlando with my um, friends a while ago uh, and we went uh, to Disney and Orlando and uh, Universal and stuff, and we were hanging out again back at the apartment, just making mixed drinks with that stuff. And it reminds me exactly of that. But you know, the next step up being being made entirely by hand, essentially. It's nice and approachable, and kind of neutral because there's no character from the spirit. But I mean, that's the point. I'm not going to mix vodka soda, like a vodka-based seltzer, with gin or you know, cachaca or something weird. Um, it's just meant to be a light, very gentle, approachable sipper that if you have some of these on hand and maybe aren't crazy about them or if you just feel like gussying them up for the sake of gussying them up, that's a perfect way to go. That is absolutely delicious. <laughs> so short, sweet, and easy today. That's really all I have for you. So let's go ahead and do our reading per episode from Crisp Toasts. Uh, we were basically at the end of the section for absent friends. I was kind of picking around because there were a couple in there that were kind of boring. Uh, and honestly, the last two are long poems. So, fuck them. Let's move on to the section for accountants. Our reading from Crisp Toasts goes as such. To my accountant, may he make many brilliant deductions. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh my god. <laughs> and one more thing as well. A very dear friend of mine 
with whom I work. Her name is Sarah. Uh, her and I are both sort of linguistics nerds, and she shared with me uh, the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, a linguistics book that creates a collection of new nouns, verbs, and adjectives um, for very specific emotional concepts. What kind of strikes me about, you know, why I wanted to uh, mention the whole, oh yeah, this reminds me of my trips to Florida and sitting on the, you know, by the poolside, playing card games and drinking, drinking drinks uh, with my friends because I read through that part of that book and there was a particular word that the author came up with. I think his name is Joe Koenig. Um, he came up with heart spur, a noun, meaning an unexpected surge of emotion in response to a seemingly innocuous trigger. The distinctive squeal of a rusty fence, a key change in an old pop song, the hint of a certain perfume, which feels all the more... Uh, my handwriting's awful. <laughs> which feels all the more intense because you can't quite pin it down. This is sort of childlike wonderment and uh, very distinct emotional rising I get from that specific profile this cocktail gives me. And I thought, hey, she shared that with me and she's a fan of the show. Uh, so why not show her that I appreciate, you know, her sharing it with me and also her patronage for the show. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? I'll see you at work tomorrow, <laughs> bright and early at nine. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I need to keep this one as short because I got to go do some paperwork. So uh, I will see you all in the next episode of Mike's Hard Reviews. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and click that like button down below. No problem with you not doing that either, though. It's your life. Do what you want with it. <laughs> My socials are appearing on the screen, and now they're gone. Yep, that's, that's how that works. Follow me. The links are in the description down below. I usually use TikTok and Instagram most. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and remember to please drink responsibly. Have a good one. I'll see you around.